this. We're going to get started on the YouTube page now. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to match two of the Amateur Tournament 2012, Falco, Falco Gaming versus Sensor Evil. Uh, we should be getting started very soon as the teams are just trying to set themselves up for picks and bans. Um, all the team members are in, so we should be going fairly soon. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched the first match, it went to Falco Gaming. Uh, this is a best of three, so Sister Evil does have a chance to come back into this. However, Falco Gaming did win really handedly. Yeah, their mid lane was just increasingly, increasingly strong as the game went on, and he was just fed kills the entire time. He got to the point where he was 1v3ing people and not really worrying about it and still living. I think he only died once throughout the entire match, so we're going to have to see if they uh, knock out that Swain in the bins. Absolutely. All right, we do have Reddy's going down. I'm going to say I'm ready as well. We'll flip back over to the live screen so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, we should be getting any minute now. And by minute, I hope in seconds. We are starting. Here we go. Uh, second round of picks and bans. Uh, first pick and ban go to Sinister Evil. And let's see what they ban first. Okay, so we're going to probably see a bit more uh, directed bans from this last match. Uh, oh, casted a ban to start. I mean, Kazan's still really strong, but mm. I I'm surprised we didn't see an immediate swing ban. Uh, so we do have a Cassiopeia again. Yeah, again, not too surprising of a ban. Really strong metal champion. A lot of things uh, have problems dealing with her. So, mm. What they might be doing is waiting for the uh, Swain ban at the end. Huh? We do have another Shaco ban. Yeah, because that was really the only uh, champion that was like super dangerous for them. But they still had a lot of control. Um, we did see that the Shen ban. Though. Well, that is a targeted ban now. Since Shen, I think, was the only one. It took like almost all, the whole team. When yeah, Shen was, Shen was taking a lot of damage. Very powerful. All right, what is the last ban going to be for Sinister Evil? Are they going to get rid of that um, Swain, or are they going to counter it with a champion? That they feel more comfortable to take it. They yeah, are going to ban <laughs> Swain. <laughs> Not, Not surprising. surprising. <laughs> of course, that also leaves open a. Okay, we have a Ramus that's open mm -hmm. because they wanted to go with the Morgana ban. Yeah. So I'll have to find out. We do. It looks like we're going to see a Soraka first pick by Sinister Evil. How are they going to lock in with that? They might be trolling. Um, yeah. A lot of times teams would like to put up a champion and then completely switch it at the very last second. Um, while this does cut some of the time, they could also just pick that champion and lock it instantaneously. So it's just kind of a, a little troll. It gives them a little bit more time to talk, knowing the champion that they're already going to pick. And it does look like Soraka will be locked in for Sinister Evil. Yeah, we may see a trade since uh, Flash Ignite is not that usual on Soraka. <laughs> Uh, looks like we're going to see Zerath and Ramus. Good pickup by... As I said, Ramus is open. That's dangerous. Ramus is such a strong jungle. Really great at ganking. A lot of people don't know how to deal with him. Alright. Looks like we might see an Annie as well. Oh, Twisted Fate. Looks like we're going to be switching. We're going to lock in as Twisted Fate. So, two really good pickups for Falco Gaming. Twisted Fate can go both ways. Um, AD or AP. I believe currently AP Twisted Fate may be a little stronger because mm. uh, AD Twisted Fate has to wait until really late game to get super strong. Looks like we might see a Trundle for Sinister Evil. But we don't see a lot of Twisted Fate, especially since his ultimate has mm. been reduced. Um, it used to be global, but now it's not. So his range is a lot less. So I have oh, to see a little Trundle runs. and a Corky. Interesting picks by Sinister Evil. Corky is a really strong bottom lane. Um, <coughs> I personally am terrible with Corky, but mm. he's really strong. I, I've played him a few times. Uh, yeah, I, I never was really good with him either. He's got some nice maneuverability, and that bombing move is pretty cool. Yeah. With that uh, little machine gun killing that he does, I never really got good at timing with that. Looks like we're going to see a Sona. Sona, we're struggling not to unusual. Oh, excuse me. We'll have to see if they are going to go with a different champion for... Okay, so the AD bottom is going to be an Ash. All right, so we're going to see Ash and Sona. We've got a ribbon top, though. Ooh, so strong. Followed up with a Rise. 
I think a rise versus uh, a TF mid is really good. Rise is, uh, like, I think TF's going to have it in the earlier game because his rise is a little bit better. Mm. But as soon as rise starts building, like, a Banshee's Veil, then all of a sudden Twisted Fate is not as scary. But we do have a cannon top, or at least what it looks to be the potential of the cannon top. Uh, it hasn't been locked in yet, but as, as you guys have seen in several of the matches, Cannon tops are extremely, extremely powerful, especially with that AoE, um, that dash in, and cannon can destroy. Yeah, cannon can, can go AD or AP. I personally like AP cannon better, mm. but he can go both for top lane. That lockdown from Rise though might be able to help him out. Yeah, so I think Ribbon's gonna own the lane in the earlier part of the game, I and mean, mm. Cannon's gonna have at least he's he's like he'll have range. So he'll do harass, but like if they find if they do actually go for like a straight trade up, if he doesn't have ultimate, it's gonna be a problem because Riven just does a lot of damage. Mm. Um, AOE wise, in the end though, I'd have to say that Kennen's ultimate, come combined with Ramus, and with an Ash and a Sona all that can be extremely dangerous. Um, on the other side, like Ryze, he has some AOE. Riven has AOE. Trundle has AOE. Um, Corky, he does have a little bit of AOE and. Uh, Soraka does too, so they do have AoE too, but their AoE is a little more like just damage oriented and not control oriented, which mm -hmm. I think is going to be the bigger problem because they have to worry a lot more about positioning, and Kennen just has to like, hey, look, look at me rush in, and you know, okay, you're all done. You know, he does so much damage. Oh yeah. Absolutely. If he goes AD, his ultimate won't be as much damage wise, but he'll still have the lockdown, and then they can lock down with Sona and Ramus and Ash, so. I'm going to say late game we're going to give it to uh, Team Falco Gaming. But uh, early game, I'd have to say that Sinister Evil, again, has the better laning phase, which I believe I said last match, too. Yeah. No, I think it was switched, actually. No, I, no, I believe... No, you're right. It was yeah, switched. Yeah, switched. So kind of switching it now, but unfortunately, Falco Gaming was still so strong that it just didn't matter. Um, we'll have to see how well they are with Twisted Fate, though. I think that's going to be the real kind of volatile card here because um, he's just um, a lot of people think he's a really weak champion now. So mm -hmm. it's hard to see a Twisted Fate do really good. Well, in the match we played not so long ago, that Twisted Fate was pretty good. Like he he's good at zoning, and he was mm -hmm. like he was zoning me pretty good. But his damage, yeah. when I finally decided that I was like, okay, you're not going to zone me anymore. I'm just going to go up and shoot you yeah. in the face. Of course, Grace is pretty overpowered. But when I did, all of a sudden it's like boom, half his health is gone from just yeah, Q. Yeah, that was a good. I like the um, I like the Summon Graves combo. I think mean, it's pretty uh, pretty meta. Whenever uh, yeah. when we used it the other day, we had oh Summon Graves <laughs> right bottom. GG you win. <laughs> That's why Ash Zone is a really good one too because they have a lot of slows. They got two ultimates that are all about okay, jump on them now. Yep. And then with Ramus, the pickup that's going to be really dangerous. You know, and like Corky has a good escape mechanic. Soraka has a silence, but unfortunately that silence isn't going to stop any of their ultimates. Mm. I think I'm not even going to stop Twisted Fate's ultimate. Um, no, because he, he teleports in. I don't even know if he's targetable. Yeah, I don't know. Because it is a, there is a timer on it, but mm. he never like teleports in front of you. So Yeah, I, I think it, you'd have to silence him while he's trying to teleport away. Not yeah, but he to... doesn't do that is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just it's not what you do. You always use your gold card. And like hit someone and then run away. Yeah. Um, but Trundle is a really great jungle. He does a lot of damage. He can heal a lot. And he can slow. He can be super annoying. Um, yeah, that rock doesn't have a, He doesn't have a lockdown though. So midline rise is going to be the one that's going to do like the really, um, like the chase initiate, like under the turret, like you know, make sure they don't get away. Um, Trundle mm -hmm. can start with his pillar. So we'll have to see how well his pillars are. Also, have to see yeah, if we get another glitch. Uh, hopefully. Usually when we fix the glitch, it goes away. Like it's not an yeah, issue. Yeah, it doesn't happen the second match. Uh, but I work. was wrong. It is gonna happen the second match. Don't know why. Really annoying. Not entirely sure. What's going on here? Sorry. Okay, so looks like we got a cannon skin. We got a Sony skin. We got one person not connected though. Okay, um, and a oh, TF skin. So he does like TF. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looks like we do have a Soraka skin, a Corky skin, and a Rai skin. I ri that's an interesting Corky skin. I believe he's riding setup. Oh, like a walrus. 
It looks like either a manatee or a walrus or something. Yeah, it doesn't have any fangs. So yeah, manatee. Oh. With a Gatling gun on the back. That's pretty baller. I'd like to ride a manatee with a Gatling gun. And the Red Baron uh, little scarf thing and mm -hmm. like German pointed military hat. There you go. <laughs> he, he's down for business. Right. Of course, also with the super eye skin. Now he's big, red, horny, and has a big purple rod on his back. <laughs> Uh, there's no it's more fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, that twisted face got a lot of hearts around him too. Yeah, right. That, okay, he definitely won up. The rise is fabulous. Even though yeah. both red motif though. Yeah. But well, we got red and roll, white versus red and purple. So I guess red and purple wins because I personally think purple is way more baller. Right, looks like they are moving out. We will be back to you with you in just a moment. I really don't know why this happens at almost every other time we do this. Um, really quite frustrating, and we are really sorry about it. But we are back up, and we are going into Borderless. So you won't get that weird flash. We do have lots of pain going on. Looks like Falco Gaming does want to try and invade, or at least threaten and invade, as they all meet up in top next to Baron. I don't. I haven't jungled this uh, Trundle, so I don't know how uh, blue dependent he is. I do know that Ramus uh, in the first and the early thing is uh, blue dependent, but later on he's not. So he'll take the first, maybe even the second blue. So this is not right. so surprising. We do have a full invade. Sona isn't back. And it looks like the rest of Sinister Evil's running in. They might meet them here. Sona's out of position. Oh, if they all yeah, meet, big here fight. we go. Great yeah, action. Yeah, that was great. Corky, Corky coming in doing lots of damage. He's backing off. We do have several flashes going. We do have an Ignite. Ooh, Ash trying to come in here. Pushing back Trundle. And that Ash like... sitting down on, the, on that top ledge is really good. So it's a fate. Oh, no, he's out of position. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Dead. Corky's coming in. They're going to get first blood. Sister Evil picks up first blood. Finally getting the advantage in kills. Wow, poor move from Twisted Fate. It's going to give them first blood. What yeah. a nice engagement. Free oh, 400 man. gold and their entire team. Oh no, it looks like Riven, was a little, Riven and Trundle were a little too far, so they didn't get the assist. So we got an assist on Strock and an assist on Rise. And the kill went to Corky. So looks like Corky's gone. He went back. He's already. Is he already purchasing more stuff? No? Okay, he's just gonna go to his name. Or he's sitting there, I'm not sure what he's doing. It looks like but Rise is able to get some free farm time. Corky, it looks like Corky was waiting so he could get uh, free Doran's blade, so he's already a little bit ahead on that bottom lane without any farm at all. Looks like Ramus is coming in to try and counter jungle. Trundle. Oh, he does have that level two. Looks like he might be trying to steal red. Here he goes, taking in red. Trundle probably not going to see this by the time Red goes down. Okay, yeah, Ramus see, is taking a lot of damage. All those going from Bush. And Trundle started... Well, I don't know. He did start... He started Wraiths. Yeah. So, his next uh, He's thing coming down be... for Red. Ram is taking a lot of damage, but Ash is there to back him up. She's going to steal Red from Trundle. Ram is just barely getting out of there. Nice. Trundle, that was great support by Ash for bottom lane. Yeah, Trundle dodging them. And able to... Ooh, Ash getting out of position. No, backs up. Good idea. They saw... Okay, so that means Sona's on the bottom lane. No, don't go that way. She saw her go up. So that was really nice. Because there was no ward there. But she did stop and pull back. Mm -hmm. So now they got a free red. And Trundle doesn't even know. I think I think he figured it out. Because they did see them in there. So yeah. we'll have to see if he goes and checks it. Uh, we do have another ping on red. It looks like Grammys is going to set up for somebody... Or yeah. just take it for himself. Oh, it looks like uh, a little golem was forced to reset. Yeah, so he's putting Trundle pretty far behind. He already has one buff stolen. And, uh, his jungle is going to mess up because he had to go back. Ramus did go back too, but he, he took a lot more damage in the beginning part of the fight, so he went back almost immediately. Mm. And then, so it looks yeah. like he's starting to see if they give it to anyone. Else. We do have a ping on Sona, who is starting her wards. The Kenny did go shield though. A little su like he probably did that to have a little more sustainability. Than I'm, I'm a little surprised. 
A lot of cannons like to go boots and potions. Because mm. the shield, like, later on, you just, it's a guaranteed sold item. And the other Doran's items just don't do that. I really low health Lannis, though, coming in. Yeah. Looks like they're going to try and get the gank. They're gonna have he to comes in. Do we want they do stun him. We do have the flash from Riven. And she jumps away, getting out of there, dodging that gank from Ramis. Almost he didn't even get his taunt off. So yeah, that was, that was extra dodging from uh, Riven. Completely missing. Uh, we do have several things. Back in the zone, we do have the CV going down. It looks like Sonat and Ash are pushing pretty heavily on bottom. Mr. TF just went back. He picked up Source Boots, so we're going to see APTF. And Rice is picking up his first boot from Trundle. I don't think Trundle's gotten a single boot yet. So. No, I don't believe so. Rise did pick up that blue. Yeah, Rise with blue is pretty dangerous. So. So I accidentally hit the ping button. Don't want to hit that. Alright, looks like things are even out in the bottom. Things are fairly even. In the middle, the rise is beginning to push now. Uh, CS wise, they're uh, dead even too. Ooh, looks like Grim's taking a lot of damage. He's forced to back off, but is safe. Trying to working on Ramus yet again. He's level three though. I think Ramus is already four. Ramus is still level no. three as well. He, he might get four. No, no. All right. CS wise though, Trundle's at nineteen and Ramus is at six. Oh, sixteen. So I think Trundle's faster farm is starting to catch up because mm. Ramus is really great at ganks, but eventually his uh, his jungle is just slower because he has to, most of his uh, damage comes from defensive bulk or off. Ramus back up, still taking a lot of damage from Kennen. Kennen just beating down Raven, despite being able to dodge really well. Sif Fate coming in. Need rise. Both are at level six and I have the ultimates now. Want we'll to see how well Twisted Fate times is. Rise picked up a tears too, so he's using all of his spell abilities as much as possible to make sure that when that blue buff falls off, he'll have as much uh, mana as he can possibly can. Uh, and it looks like on bottom lane we still have no all that back, but CS wise Corky is at forty, Ash is at thirty, so a ten lead on for that Corky. Unfortunately, they're pushed, and Ramus is down there, so it looks like they may be going for a gank. But they pushed him back a bit too far. We'll have to see if they go with a flash taunt, maybe. Maybe. I think they want to push, but these the minion line just keeps uh, staying pretty much there. And the longer they stay, the more XP they're going to leech. If they don't get a kill, it's just going to be a waste. Oh, it looks Ramus like Ramus is powering up his ball, but he's going to back, and it was just a waste of time. Yes, that like his jungle's oh, already. Nope, he's, he is going like, to hang out a little, little bit too longer. Decisive. Yeah, they have to get a kill now. This is a major waste for Ramus. Yeah, here comes Ramus coming in, getting it on Torky. Torky uh, does jump and is saved. Well, his his jump actually failed because um, Ramus, Ramus got to taunted him, but then he cleansed it immediately. Yeah, that was a great cleanse. Got out of there on the flying manatee. Really uh, putting Ramus pretty far behind. Ramus looks like he might be giving up that blue to Twisted Fate to try and get an advantage, as Rise does have blue of his own. Uh, CS Wise on top. We got Ribbon at 47 and Kennen at 42. So Kennen is doing a bit more damage, but it looks like uh, it's still not stopping Ribbon from getting some good skills. Yeah, she's so mobile. She has that shield. Oh, we do have the ult coming in from Kennen. Nice, nice dodge. dodge by Riven, but we do have the ignite as well. Juke. Juking all over Not the place. Gonna Not gonna make it though. Kennen takes her, takes her out and gives um, Falco Gaming their first kill. Um, Falco Gaming is ahead in gold by point one now. So about a hundred gold. Top. Sitting in that bush. It looks like he wants to shut down Kennen. They don't really want to feed Kennen at all. Wow, doing lots of damage. Locking oh, he him down. He got his but he just off, backed he off. He get it off. Oh, he could have gotten a kill there if he hadn't yep. turned around. But it is going to force Kennen to go back and stop him from feeding. Or from farming. But, what's the fate is here? And he's pushing the tower really hard. Trundle coming in. Uh, they're not going to take the turret down. 
Oh, that's a huge area of effect. That Twisted Fate doing a lot of damage, keeping Tremble at bay. But here comes Rise. Might be able to set up a lockdown for the gang. Let's see, okay. Let's see the yeah, belly for the slow. Ooh, we do get the slow Mike off. backs up, though. Yeah. He's not sure and if anyone's Twisted Fate push. pushing. Wow, a lot of damage to that Twisted Fate from Rise. But he's able to scare Rise off yet again. Looks like they're setting up to do Dragon now. Falco Gaming. <laughs> oh, did he just... He's pulling it. Yeah, here they go. Oh, Rise did get Twisted Fate. Sorry about that, folks. We do have uh, the dragon not contested yet. No, oh, we do have the first ping. Lots of damage to Ramus. He's going to have to back out of there soon. Ooh, he might go down. It might be too late. Ramus is killed by Dragon. Dragon resets. So now they know about it, and then they can pick up Dragon themselves if they want to. And is it going to be an uncontested Dragon? Rimmon is up top. Ken is going to mid. Sona's backing off. They sh should really engage this Dragon now. Here comes Soraka engaging the Dragon. Taking lots of damage with Trundle and Corky. Uh, and Ryze is really back her up. Because, uh, well, as long as she can actually live with it, so she may die from it too. Yeah, um, hopefully uh, uh, Soraka will not die as well from Dragon. She's going to flash out, nice. makes it just in time. Dragon goes to Sinister Evil, who's now ahead um, over 1,000 in gold now. So 10 minutes and 40 seconds, so we're going to see the next Dragon at 16. This is a far less one-sided match now. Looking good for Sinister Evil. Not ahead by a lot, but ahead by a little. And sometimes the TF went snowball. back and got uh, an AP stick and a Doran's Ring. Actually, I think he had the Doran's Ring. I'm not sure. Um, but he's doing a decent amount of damage. Rise has not gone back yet. Um, he went back once and got his tier. Uh, we'll have to see if he goes back again soon. So, Twist of Fate doing a little more damage than Rise, but Rise has, has a little more control. He's in prison, so. Oh, looks uh, like he's about to go back. Yeah. Rise is going back. Now, that cannon doing lots of damage to Riven. Riven's forced to go back again. 70 CS on that Riven, though, so she's maintaining the CS lead. It's almost like she's just sacrificing health to get CS. Yeah, back I, I think she's getting a lot of really good last hits. And it's just interesting to see her go back so much and be so zoned, yet getting that CS. So, hey, as long as she keeps it up and not doesn't die. It's just Fade doing tons of damage. Yeah, absolutely. ADT, definitely more scary than the AD that I faced. <laughs> All right, looks like Ramus is coming in. He's getting ready to steal that blue. Trying to come up taking wolves. Uh, and Twisted Fate coming up to help them out. No one's really here to answer it for since they're evil. As Kennen comes in. Oh, they're coming up from the bottom there. Right, here they come. They do have it warded. Although Trundle has seen them. They're going to back off. Yeah, that ward Riven coming in. Yeah, they're warding it. Was that an Ash arrow? I don't believe so. I didn't see it. Or was it? She just He just got stunned oh. and it was Frost, so it had to be an Ash arrow. Let's see. It was an Ash Arrow. You are right. Wow. <laughs> From across the map. Unfortunately, they didn't engage on this. Yeah, and it looks like here they are. Gonna try to take Holmes. Middle Tower goes down for Sinister Evil, which is the first tower taken down by Falco Gaming. She's gonna help them out catch up in gold. They are now only 100 gold behind Sinister Evil, despite being uh, a kill behind and a dragon behind. That cannon has picked up a uh, revolver and. And an AP Tom, so if you can start with Willie Ancients and then possibly the Rabbit. So we do have to be Kenan Pop. And it looks like Falcon Gaming, Gaming has taken the lead in gold as they creep ever um, ever further ahead. They're only up by oh no, it's back and forth, so we're flat even now. Absolutely flat even for gold. Riven taking a lot of damage, flashes in, puts the fake oh, finishing oh, Riven off. So nice. nice. Yeah, that was a very he nice. He almost wasn't gonna, but then he saw that his card hit and he was like, yo. Yep, that was really good. So now the uh, kills are even. Falcon Gaming is ahead in gold by just a little bit. Yes, yeah, CS wise, uh, mid lane uh, that rises at 72 while Twisted Fate is at 96. So his CS is getting really high and his damage is getting pretty scary. Uh, Elizabeth Grimes picked up a catalyst though, so they have a bit more health while blowing him. Cannon up. Let's see if he can get the kill. Yeah, he did a lot of damage. He's uh, unfortunately, he went, the, he went the wrong angle. He should have gone the long way because then it would force Kenan back down towards the tower. But instead, he went straight for the bush, which meant Kenan was definitely going to get away. Um, bottom lane, though, we have uh, Corky's at 96, and he has picked up 
a phage and also picked up a zeal. And uh, that ash is at 82 and has picked up a BF sort. Now has double Doran's blades, so we should probably see an affinity edge here soon. There's really not a lot of wards going on right now. Uh, the only wards are for Sinister Evil, and the, they're watching uh, the Tribal Shear and Dragon. Oh, and it looks like they're blue as well. Yeah, that was just a ward from the fight before, so. Mm. Um, Dragon Ward's gonna like it. It's good for ganks, but not gonna really watch. It'll be down before Dragon comes up, yep. again, I believe. Yeah, that's true. Well, we do have the Sun Oil coming in. There's lots of damage. They're focusing on Corky. He's going to have to back off. Now they're going to focus on Soraka a little bit. Pushing them back. No that Klein is definitely making it safe for Corky. Yeah, this absolutely. Really He's nice. using it really well, too. Looks like Ribbon's waiting to engage. Cannon, Twisted Fate, pushing his lane without Trundle or Rise there. I don't think they saw Rise either. Oh, we oh, got a flash oh. comes in. Come here, rises oh. here, takes out Sona. Locks so much her up to so much damage. Uh, Ash is forced to go back to her tower. Twisted Fate coming in to push, but Trundle's there to meet him. We do have a couple pings. Looks like Ribbon's still engaging with uh, Kennen. As Twisted Fate comes up, probably to try to grab the gank. And Kennen has finished as well the Ancients and his boots also. So, let's see the next time he decides. Oh, to... wow, they chase down Riven, doing lots <laughs> uh, of damage. Went to the fate. The shield goes off. Riven's getting out of there. Wow, so close to death. Able to escape yet again. Yeah, it's just a fate. He's doing lots of damage. He's doing really great for his team. Helping setting off ganks, using his ultimate to secure kills. Well, it does look like um, Sinister Evil is ahead in kills now. 3 to 2. Yeah, that and pushing that tower. Wow. That Trundle not being able to take those hits. Looks like Bryce picked up another mana crystal also. Uh, so we might have something going on here. We do have Rise coming in toward that uh, Trundle able to hold off until uh, Ribbon returned. But here's Twisted Fate, Rise sitting in the jungle. No wards are there, so Twisted Fate doesn't know he's in there. Trundle coming up, try, trying to gank that cannon. We'll watch that from the minimap as we uh, look at what's going on here. Oh, it looks like Trundle still very indecisive. Not sure where he wants to go. Yeah, I think he set up that ward. He yeah, he's backing that. off. Might be trying to gauge just the fate yet again. Although Rise is getting pushed back from those minions. Cannon is just zoning now really well, pushing Ribbon back. They've been still maintaining almost equal CS though. Wow, that's also really impressive. Picked up Merc Treads. Oh, here comes Twisted Fate. We do have the ult from Sona. Corky flies away. Twisted Fate teleports in, doing lots of damage. Comes in, takes out Corky. Ash picks up the kill. Very nice. Yeah, looks like they are going to be pushing, but not enough. And Soraka is going to hold the tower. No damage to the tower. She kills There's only a, three, a thousand three difference in gold. Yeah, this is a really even match. Doing really well for both teams. Looks like Kennen and Ramus are invading their jungle. And looks like we have a setup for Dragon. Um, just a Fate and Ash. Son of the heal. No one's really contesting it. Rise is coming around. But by the time he gets over here, he's not going to be able to do anything. That he dragon's even, almost down. He doesn't even know what's happening. Nope, you're right. He absolutely doesn't. And that dragon is the first dragon for Falco Gaming. Second turn, go down this match. Completely uncontested. Oh, we do have the pings, but it's too late. So either their timer for that was off, or they were just checking it to see if they had done it. Mm. Unfortunately, they were like, too late about it. So. <laughs> Looks like Rise is again waiting for Twisted Fate to get in position. He comes in. Looks like we got this, the uh, area of effect. Rise is moving around. around to try to help. Yeah, Riven is not following. So it would rise to a 2 up, so. He should be perfectly safe. They do have a CV though. Yeah. And Kevin coming back into the match. We're going to be trying to farm as much as she can. Oh, we have another ping. Uh, ping. They probably want to take out that ward while they still have their ping ward up. But Corky and Srock are here. Looks like they might be trying to contest this blue. They might be able to catch Ash a little bit out of position. 
for Ash Ram to be able to catch them. Yeah. yeah, it looks like Ash was able to catch them as Ramus and Sona come in, as doing lots of damage. They take out Soraka, flashes in, <clears throat> trying to focus on Quirky. Quirky able to take some of the damage, but Twisted oh, Fate comes yeah. in. Nice dodge by Quirky, but it's not enough, and he goes down. Rise running away, trying not to get taunted by Ramus, as they now have nap control yet again. They're starting, to, they're starting to creep up in the gold over 3k ahead. And now they're two kills ahead. Yeah. And a turret ahead. So here comes Rise, trying to do some damage to Sona, but it isn't really enough to uh, finish her off quickly. As pretty much everyone from Falco Gaming is down here, except for Kennen. Griffin and Kennen still duking it out. We have another ping down. Oh, Susaka, Soraka just picked up an Oracle, so we should see some counter warding soon. And it looks like Blue is going to Twisted Fate. Yeah, Rise went with Vanna and Armor, so he's building his Frozen Heart. Um, since the Ash is 2 0, but I think Twisted Fate is the thing that is. He's having the most issues with. He probably should have gone with a uh, Negatron Cloak a little earlier. All right, we do have a ping here, but that is warded. Sinister Evil does see it. Crystal Fate is coming down. Ribbon is, looks like she's going to be helping it push its way along. We do have another ping. Twisted Fate is coming in. I'm trying to do damage. It does connect with Rise. Taking a nice chunk of health away. They do know it's now warded. Corky coming in, backing off, but the bait isn't going to stick as the whole team comes back down here to engage. Riven, looks like she's following up. Ramus is down here too, and yep. he had an no, so It looks like we might have to see a team fight going on. Riven and Kevin, Kennen engaging, but well, Riven's able to back off. And here we go. We do have the Ashel, which misses. Ramus coming in, trying to uh, taunt Soraka, which he does do it. They are splitting up um, since they're evil. They're going to have to reposition if they're going to want to do well in this team fight. Looks like Trundle and Rise are coming in. They are going to meet up now. Kennen trying to take out these minions. All right. Here they come. Charging in. Not able to pick up a talk, so he's going to back off. But we do have that barrage of arrows from Ash. Trundle coming in to try to set something up. Oh, pretty low, though. Yeah, they're doing lots of damage. We do have the ult from Kennen. Um, Twisted Fate is able to go down, but Quirky, Trundle, and Rise go down. So, a great trade. And then... Kennen um, picks up the quad yeah. kill. And the entire team is aced. Wow. Just wiped out their entire team. They only lose Twisted Fate. They're going to get this tower. Um, they are now really ahead. 6,000 gold. We get the first out, they're probably gonna be able to take the second turret out before anyone's even up. Yeah, that was some awesome poke into a perfect cannon all. Yeah. That's the danger of cannon, so much damage. Oh, Since look he at picked this. up they're a quadrant off off his turret. He's gonna be able to finish up whatever ne the next item he decides to build. Um, he probably has a lot of gold he's sitting on. That is now three turrets for uh, Falco Gaming, none for Sister Evil. And there, it looks like they're about to snowball. Let's find him going back. Let's see what he purchases. Needlessly large rod, and it looks like that's going to be it for now. But that means he is one more piece uh, closer to his rabbitons. If we look at his gold, let's see exactly how much he's still sitting on. He is sitting on any. Check his gold. Check his gold. All right. Okay, so he's at 340. So he still has like. Uh, about 700 to go, or 800 to go, sorry, um, until he can get that rapid on. But he, with a needlessly large rod, his damage is going to be even more, and the poke was so great in that fight, it's going to be even more dangerous there. And Twisted Fate does have his rapid on, so. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of damage. He's at 184 <laughs> farm, 185. Now that Cannon has that uh, rod, though, his uh, his farm tactics will be a lot higher, because then he can... Uh, Lightning Rush and AoE all at the same time and get uh, full kill. Looks like we're going to have a contested blue. Rise coming in. What? It's just going to get eaten up. Rash is shut down. Rise makes it, but does, doesn't does make it for long. 
as they're pushing, trying to chase down Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate is going to go down through Trundle. Sona trying to back off, make it back to her tower, and she's going to be able to make it. If she pushes a little bit, they might be able to catch her out of position, but she's playing it pretty safe. So we do have a two for one in favor of Sinister Evil. Looks like they are going to try and set up to do a dragon as well, but that is warded. And um, Falcon Demon is going to know what's happening. Unfortunately, but, yeah, they can't do anything to respond. Yeah. Their top lane's too far. Uh, Sony can't do anything. And it looks like Ramus is uh, stealing. Yeah, Ramus is stealing. We do have several pings. Riven coming in to contest this is going to make it in time to do damage, but we do have the smite oh, going she off. Can steal it. And the steal. Yeah, nice steal by Riven chasing out uh, Ramus. We do have the pop in from Corky, the flash from Ramus. We're doing less damage. The alt from Kennen, but they do take out Ramus. They're pushing now. Try oh, they do lock up that Sona. Do lots of damage to her, but they're trying to focus on that uh, Kennen. Oh, we do have the teleport in from Twisted Fate. He's going to come down, push them back, do lots of damage. But they are able to lock up Sona, taking her out. Wow, this is really turning around for Sister Evil as they're really picking these things apart. We do have lockdown for Kennen, but Kennen able to take a lot of that damage and push back by Twisted Fate, uh -huh. who's doing so Too much bad. damage. He uses ultimate to try to save Ramus, but on, like right now, that would have been a perfect ultimate. He could have easily picked up a triple kill. Mm. That's one of those things where you're like, you don't know when you want to alt with Kennen. Um, so you always like wait and you worry, but then you're like, well, if I get at least two, I should be okay. So since they're evil trying to catch up, it's now 8 and 11. They are six, about 6k behind, though, still, and three towers. Not a single tower has gone down for Falco Gaming. So while they did win that team fight, they're going to have to win a few more if they're going to want to take the lead. Oh, Kennen went with, went with the pistol stick. Oh, uh, we only have. Oh, uh, well, yeah, okay. Rise went with uh, Banshee Trail, so he does have um, some magic resist. And we have some magic resist on Soraka and some magic resist on Ribbon. So, uh, and Trundle has uh, some Merc Treads, so that's a pretty good pick. I think he probably could have just gone with Rabbidon, so still done a lot of damage. Maybe picked up that a little later, but he wanted to go with knocking the resistance down. And not to mention, also uh, gives uh, some AoE anti-resistance for the team, so. It does look like we have um, a lot of defensive wards going down for Sinister Evil. So they're going to try and probably catch someone in their jungle yet again and continue to catch up in kills. Well, it looks like Ken's coming in. We do have the teleport, though, so that's going to push Ken back. Kenan, though, two levels ahead of Riven. Yeah, his CS uh, was, he's at 163 while Riven is at 140, so... 24 ahead, not to mention the 4 0 kills compared to a 0 3, so he's definitely going to be uh, staying ahead for a while unless Ribbon starts picking up kills. Alright, we do have a jungle invade. Ramus coming in. Uh, has been spotted by Trundle. Twisted Fate's right here to protect him. And looks like the rest of Sister Evil's coming down with uh, Ribbon and Kennen kind of hanging out top. Kennen coming down. That TF is 17, too, right? I Did believe see so. That? Yeah, he's 17. Correct. His farm is really kicking Oh, absolutely. He has 210 to uh, rise is 141. Yeah. Plus 2 kills and 6 assists to 3 kills and 4 assists. And it looks like Rise is starting to uh, finish up his Frozen Heart, so he's getting pretty tanky and he is doing a lot of damage. I'm going to have to see how well that translates into the late game, though. He has 3 2, but mm -hmm. unfortunately with the Cannon All and the Sona All and the Ramus and stuff, yeah. it's, it's, it's starting to. Uh, to get more and much. more dangerous. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Rai sneaking in behind that minion that line of minions. Gonna try and uh, oh, he was just a little far out there. Yeah. You may have seen him. I believe Kennen did as Kennen is hanging out. Gonna rush in, but the entire team of Falco Gaming is coming in. This is not looking good. I don't believe Sister Evil knows that they're all here. This is they're trying to set up. Kennen comes in. We do have the lockdown from Rise. Kennen ultimates chasing after Rise. Doing a lot of damage. We do see um, Rise go down, stunned by that Ash all. But the rest of Sensor Evil is up here now. They might have picked up a free kill over that. Trundle just hanging out, trying to watch them. Maybe to pick up Kennen. And it looks like they are going to start Baron. 
trying to zone them out. So they know they're doing something. Yeah. Sister Evil coming in. Oh, they stopped engaging with Baron. Now they're attacking Sister Evil. They take out Trundle. They force the team right down. Yeah, they're focusing now on Corky. It looks like they were going to take out Riven as well. And is Corky going to make it? Twisted Fate coming in, chasing them all the way down. Flash is in. No, he didn't get Flash, but he still gets Corky anyway. And looks like the turret's going to go down. So all the outer turrets have gone down for Sister Evil. None of the turrets have gone down for Falco Gaming. And it continues to snowball as they're creeping ever closer to 10k ahead. And they're going to get a free dragon with this. But Rise is here. He might try to steal it. This is going to be bad. Oh, he does lock down Kennen. Flash is out of there. And they do push him back. <laughs> Rise, unable to kill uh, Kennen. Gonna try and talk, uh, attack them some more. They are gonna make uh, Baron reset. So that was a really good defense by Rise, shutting down that Baron for them. Quite impressive. I can't. I can't believe he actually pulled it off. Yeah, I was surprised when they decided to stop. His Baron didn't reset, so his health is pretty low. They could have gone for the kill. Yeah, absolutely. Um. However, they are still 10k ahead um, while they missed out on that Baron. They're really not put at a super disadvantage. Alright, here we come. Sister Evil coming in the middle, being met by Falco Gaming. Looks like we got a ping on uh, Dragon. Yep, Dragon has popped up. Looks like we might see a Dragon fight here as Ramus comes in to engage, zoning out that Trundle and setting up the attack on Dragon. So you can tell if Ramus is just trying to bait people down or if he's sneaking down the dragon to try to take it. And it looks like he's trying to bait <coughs> a little bit initially. Now he's going down to engage Dragon, <coughs> followed by the rest of his teammates. Really doing lots of damage. They're pulling Dragon out. They're not going to be able to steal it unless they come in. Ramus coming in trying to uh, get a taunt. Unable to. They take Dragon. Pretty much not really contested. Uh, it looks like Sister Evil tried to contest it, but they just weren't able to. And that's going to secure the 10k gold lead. Ram is coming in, it might be to a trap, but they back off. Avoiding that taunt. And Falco Game is just going to keep pushing inwards. Still 10k ahead. We do have several pings for Baron now, so they're going to back off. Um, but there is a ward here for Sister Evil. Oh, looks like they're gonna hang out in that bush. Uh, I believe they probably there's they no see oracle them. though. Yep, there is no oracle. I think yeah, I think they're trying to fake it. Cause yep. yeah, they're all just sitting there, so unfortunately oh. now now there the is, no is gone. Yeah, so they so. don't know that they're faking. Okay. Oh we do have the hit from Ramus. And the alt from Kennen. Trundle does go down. Alt from Sona. Corky goes down. Soraka goes down. Chasing out Riven, Rise just hanging out at his tower, and looks like their dragons are dragon barons gonna be free, almost completely uncontested. But Rise is coming in yet again to try and do a lot of damage, but they might just focus and kill him down now because they're not really all that weak. Here comes Kennen trying to zone out uh, Rise. He's taking a lot of damage though. He's pretty beefy. They do get Baron. Rise is forced to back off. Creeping further and further ahead is now 8 to 18 in favor of Falco Gaming, who, although it took them a long time, are starting to really show their dominance in this match. Yeah, like early game, it was pretty back and forth, but now they're they're getting more and more into the late game and starting to get more dangerous, and they're really uh, they're using their alts pretty well. I'd have to say Kennen's last two alts probably weren't the best, um, mm -hmm. but I think it was just because the angle that they were fighting in, the fighting in a confined space and the chase got split so his ultimate didn't hit a lot of uh, the you know enemy team mm -hmm. but they still secured kills so even without a cannon all they're extremely dangerous absolutely uh, looks like since the evil's forced to fight in the jungle trying to wait for some of that farm to creep in uh, we do have some building up down on bottom uh, cannon ha also does have a rabbit and let's see, he built up uh, some armor, so he's going to go for an hourglass. Uh, on Ash, we have Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, uh, probably building next to a Bloodthirster. 
Um, on Corky, we have a Triforce and Last Wish. Uh, not sure what he'll build into after that. I'm a little surprised by the Last Wish because they don't have a lot of armor being built originally. Uh, now that they have uh, almost two hourglasses finished, there's a bit more armor on their squishies, so that will help uh, at least in the later part if they get to that point. But that Corky is at 229 CS. And Ash is only at 164, so Corky is definitely leading the charge on maintaining CS while all of this. Uh, wow, looks like they're going to try and set a fight. Um, Rise coming in, trying to do a lot of damage, but it's not enough. All comes in from Kenan, taking out Rise. Sona takes out Trundle. Corky takes out uh, Kenan, however. Wow, doing lots of da <coughs> damage of his own. It's something gets caught in the throat, which is not good because a lot is happening right now, and I need to cough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> wow, that was not fun. You maintained your announcer voice through the whole thing. That was awesome. Woo! <laughs> Came right in the back of my throat. Not really good at all. That was probably... We did the teleport in. So I'm just going to take the tower. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's gone. I think he canceled that teleport, too. That would have been instant death. And it looks like they're just pushing. They're not afraid of this team anymore. They still have two members down. Grimmin coming in. Trying to do lots of damage. Ram is taking a lot of damage. Forcing to go back. But yeah, not like a, he's gonna get the top off. They take out Riven because of that. Uh, Ash chasing Corky, pushing him back. Ash is and still Soraka. taking turret shots. Okay, now TF is taking turret yeah. shots. They're rotating very nice. they, they were able to take out that turret. Trundle coming in, but not really able to nice do much of anything. Split. Shut down. Corky comes in, oh. taking a lot of damage from Ash. Takes out Corky. Rise coming in, trying to do a lot of damage, but wow, he's just being healed so much from that Sona. And he's not able to go down. The Ashall does hit at a strange angle and hits. Yeah, it was like it looked Trundle? like it missed, and then all of a sudden it hit. Yeah, that was weird. I'm not really sure who it hit. I'm pretty sure it hit Trundle though. But that, they were both yeah, kind of standing in there. Last match to it <coughs> passed by someone and didn't hit them, and then all of a sudden it affected them. So a little bit of uh, glitching that's on the Ashall here. Yeah, that's weird. But the Ash is six one thirty, <coughs> and also. Uh, Looks like she just sold her life steal, didn't she? Have life? Yeah, and then picked up a pickaxe. Okay, I'm really surprised about that. I'm not sure why, what she's doing. She may think that uh, their team is a maybe a little tanky and decide decided to go with a, um, a Madrid's razor. So we'll have to see. Riven just finished up a bloodthirster and uh, has picked up a uh, spirit visage. I don't think Riven has any. Healing abilities. So I'm not sure what the spirit message is for. Like Magicus is sure. A little bit of health, but I'm not sure what that's all about. I would use some things in Sister Evil's jungle as uh, Falco Gaming is just hanging out in there. But yeah, I guess I never thought about spirit message working with Bloodthirster. I always thought it was passive abilities, not abilities that you got from items. So that could be good, but I still think that there's probably uh, stuff that's a bit better. All right, here comes Ramus pushing in, not able to get the uh, taunt as Corky. yeah, that Corky was yeah, cleanse and really so effective good. cleanse too. The Corky's been doing well, despite how even, yeah, even though he's the one that's died the most, but he's yeah. still like he cleansed a lot in the early game. He stopped a lot of potential deaths. So he's mostly just dying in team fights. It's not yeah. really him dying because he's getting out of position. All right, it looks like. Uh, Falco Gaming has picked their next target, but they decided not to, and coming in to take out the inhibitor, just charging into Sincerely's base, and they're forced to back off. Really no support. Oh, we do have the uh, triple. <coughs> but the inhibitor goes down, lots of damage. Rise is going to go down next. Cannon Alt takes out Trundle and Corky. Corky able to take out Sona, and though. And Ribbon is kill. gone. Oh, Ash picked up. I thought he was coming with quad. So so, like yeah, we have the GGs going down. They are focusing on the turret. Um, Ram is taking all the damage. Probably just... Oh, he's gonna die! Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> die. But no one gets the kill. Doesn't really care, though. Um, yeah, probably so worth it for that. They, they can rotate. Yeah. We got it down. Iranians, not much of anything. Soraka. Come on, Soraka, hold it out. Let's see if and then You can point. do it! Triple kill, Soraka. Oh, we do have the TF. Troll! Oh my god, they trolled. I thought they weren't going to get the last hit. That was but the good, good game. 
And it looks like Falco Gaming is moving on, whereas Sister Evil is going down to the loser's bracket. So they still have a chance. They're still in this game. Um, best of luck to both teams. We hope to be shoutcasting for you again soon. Uh, this was match two of the Amateur Tournament 2012. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, great uh, job, Falco Gaming. Absolutely. Kevin bringing it. Swain bringing it first game. You know? Yeah, very good teamwork. Very, very yeah, good teamwork. Yeah, they were really well coordinated. Absolutely. So, again, guys, thank you for watching. Continue to follow us at own.tv slash power underscore underwhelming. The underscore is the symbol underscore, not the word. You can also follow us at Twitter. Um, YouTube.com slash D3PowerUnderwhelming. We also have a Facebook at Power Underwhelming. So, uh, type that in your Facebook. Like us. We try to announce where we're going to do stuff. The next guaranteed thing we have is at 8 on Saturday, which will be a part of the Rise Up Tournament, the match before the semifinals. So, stay tuned. Continue to follow us. Uh, like, subscribe us if you like our stuff. And we hope to see you guys soon. Uh, if there's any other matches that you want us to shoutcast for, uh, please get a hold of me. Um, either through YouTube or email and We'll try and do it for you. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a good night. Good night, guys.